believe it's safe to assume by now we have all heard of the Stanley Toolbox. Making waves online, truly a revolution in budget storage for gaming, specifically for Magic the Gathering. Uh, as far as deck boxes go, uh, I mean these fit perfectly inside. These are 100 counts Ultra Pro deck boxes. Slide right in with the beautiful art on the outside. Um, this is my standard decks. We have some popper decks and the very thematic Dragon Shield paper boxes. Two brawl decks. We'll see if these survive past rotation. Um, and one more uh, popper deck. But basically, awesome modular storage. Take out a piece, do what you got to do, put in a different one. Um, we've seen these around. Prof, awesome. Thank you for showing this to everybody. However, there is an advancement that I have to share with you guys. New products out in the wild I found. Um, Stanley, you're safe. This is not a replacement product, but however, we have our card storage solution. What do we do with our die counters? And please to announce the storage accessories box from the 99 cent store. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking at an 18 compartment storage solution for $1.99. Absolutely amazing. Um, you know, storage, die counters, huge in Magic, minifigs, uh, dice, all kinds of stuff. We have a lot of components out there. A $1.99 storage solution? I say, yeah, let's check it out. What do you get? Out of the box, a hard plastic, hard plastic on the back, uh, great clamps. I mean, usually from the dollar store, you're very worried about it's very cheap plastic. If anything, these take a little bit of extra a little bit a little bit on there kind of work them a little bit but they're strong $1.99 great storage solution individual compartments sounds great let's check it out in practice I have five options for storage first we'll check out die counters um, I mean I got five here two dollars each this is ten dollars worth of storage solution I repeat ten dollars worth of storage solution Ladies and gentlemen, let's get organized. Inside door number one, we have just regular die counters, you know. Awesome thing about this as well is the transparent, uh, translucent lid. So you don't even have to open it up to see what you're looking for. Oh, let's go ahead and go inside and grab it. Amazing storage solution as well. I mean, nothing's really... We're gonna do the uh, patented Tolarian chick. Everything kind of stays perfectly in its slot. Uh, door number two. I mean, uh, we're all board gamers. What do you do with your minifigs? Let's store them. Let's store them uh, nice. Color-coded. Fits about two or three per pouch. I mean, if you got painted minifigs, you're obviously not going to want to like throw this, you know, throw something like that in here. But for casual gaming and quick on-the-go storage, absolutely love it. Dollar ninety-nine. All day. Uh, door number three. Common theme for the channel: die, dice. One of my favorite games: Dice Masters. How do you store? the character die uh, with one of these $2 bins. It has truly been a pain in the ass. There's about 10 to 17 sets. I think I have about 11 sets of Dice Masters. Um, specific cards, specific die. How the hell do you store them in something like this for $1.99? This is the green arrow and flash die. I have all the cards in a binder. You flip through the binder, you go get the die right in here. Um, fits wonderfully, I have to say. Two characters per slot, and then for some sets you might need to dip into three. But vis you know, visibly, awesome. You can tell right from the top of the box what's in there, what you need. We have Dice Master Civil War, Cap, Wolverine, Spider-Man, fun stuff. All of our character die inside, ready to be played. Great stuff. I mean, I have truly, uh, it's probably one of the reasons why I stopped you know, collecting Dice Masters. And I kind of feel a reason why a lot of people did as well. You get all these die, you have no way to store them. Um, in something like this for $1.99, Absolutely amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, run out and buy these now. I mean, I'll just do another. Very excited. Very shaky, you know. None of those die are getting out of there. That's going to get it in camera. Very, you know, locked in place. That's all day, baby. All day, X-Men First Class. Another wonderful set from Dice Masters. Beautiful, colorful die. Wonderfully stored. Uh, amazing stuff, ladies and gentlemen. $1.99. Repeats $1.99. I feel like the barrier for grading and what you're kind of looking for and uh, for you know storage solutions, once you get into the $1.99 range, the bar is pretty low. This passes on all colors. Truly a very sturdy handle. That's not going anywhere. Hard plastic. And I gotta say, these look pretty expensive. These look like maybe about $5 to $10 bins. On closer inspection, you can tell they're a little cheap. However, I mean, $1.99. 
Not bad. I'll deal with those all day. Not broken. Great stuff. Shock, stack them on the shelf. Maybe a, a bookcase. Kind of line them up like this way. You know, easy, easy identification as well. Um, temporarily, I just did a little paper, you know, taped on the bottom. Dice Masters Civil War. However, if you want to get fancy, you can do little ID tags, tape them on the bottom side uh, for which characters are inside. Whatever you want to store it. Ladies and gentlemen, a dollar ninety-nine. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, I'll be back with a quick wrap up just to kind of show my face. We'll be back right now. In conclusion, I have to say, actually, I think there's only one thing you can say. A dollar ninety-nine. Dollar ninety-nine. Twenty dollars total for 10 separate storage solutions. Did we get carried away? Yes. Should I have bought so many? Probably not. Do I own this many components? No, but I will. And when I do, I'll be ready, and I think you should be too. Check out the storage area of your dollar store. Check out the hardware solution you know, section if it's not there, and uh, the 99 cents only stores. Uh, you guys truly outdid yourself. Young Corpse Television, uh, great times. Thank you for tuning in for whatever the hell this was. Product review, my Tolarian impression. Check it out, hit subscribe, hit like, and until the next time, maybe I'll subscribe, maybe. <laughs>